Honestly, Sebi, don't be conned by Man United winning this game. They were horrendous today. Ralph Ranić said the same thing after the game. He said, if they play the same way against Liverpool, we'll get nothing out of the game. We'll get hammered, paraphrasing on the hammered, but he said they'll get nothing out of the game. And at 2 2, Norwich were by far the best side. It took Ronaldo's hat trick to get them out of trouble. They were passive, they were lazy. They played like school children. Man United only wanted to play when they had the ball. They weren't interested in running around when Norwich had the ball. Defensively, all over the place. Norwich carved them open so many times in this game. Lindelof and Maguire, horrendous as a pair. The only players can take credit, in my humble opinion, from this performance was De Gea in goal. He made a crucial save inside five minutes against Timo Pukki. Made a million of them this season. He's probably been their player of the season. I would then say Ronaldo, obviously, because he got a hat-trick. Anthony Alanga in the first half was really good. Flashes of genius from Paul Pogba. But the rest of them, honestly, if, if Ten Hag, if Eric Ten Hag's watching videos of the Everton game last week, that was a low. And he'll watch the 3-2 and he'll probably get wind of the scoreline thinking, oh, they must have played well in that. He'll watch that and he'll think, my word, they were so open. Paul Pogba was in a midfield on his own I mean, Ranić picked and tack inside. Fair play to him. But it left Paul Pogba completely isolated. And every time Norwich got into that midfield area, 2v1, 3v1, they got it Man United. And Man United looked like they could have shipped four or five. Norwich's XG was higher than Man United at Old Trafford. Mm. Put yourself in Ten Hag's shoes, Jacques. Are you getting rid of Ronaldo? Um, no, not if, uh, if I don't have to right now. Uh, and and here's, here's a challenge for Ten Hag coming in. You need to get rid of a lot of players. You, when, when you look at this squad, when you look at Manchester United, where they are right now, you're not quite sure who you're keeping. Keep in mind that Ranić starts with Lingard, who barely sees minutes, has to bring him off to bring on Matic and Mata as, as the players to, to come on to try to change the game. That just speaks about the problems within the squad. How much needs to be done when Ten Hag comes in? And how do you find space? How do you, how, how, how do you find the money to really bring Manchester United back, back to where they, where they need to be? And it's, it's, a, an, it, it's, it's a task that I, I'm not sure that any manager is looking forward to. I, I think it, it takes Ten Hag Six or, six or seven transfer windows to, to even start closing the gap on the likes of, of City and Liverpool. So as of right now, I, I keep Ronaldo because he's the best of what's there. But I'm trying to shift a lot of players at the same time and knowing full well that that won't be easy. Yeah, but Ronaldo's not one of them, right? You see those goals. You, you... If, for right now, Ronaldo's not a priority. R getting rid of Ronaldo's not a priority. It, it might work in terms of freeing up uh, money and, and certainly... Um, Funds for, 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 for salaries, but in terms of performances, he is way down the list as, as to who's most important to, to, to move. And, Don, you were going through the 11 earlier, but he really is the, the only difference maker in this group, isn't he? Absolutely. The, I mean, you know, Antti Alanga is a fantastic young player, but he's young. He can't do it on his own. He'll get better and he'll, he'll get wiser as he gets older. But the man that steps up when you really need him, as he has done all of his career is Cristiano Ronaldo. It's what he does. He stood over that free kick. He owned Old Trafford. And I'm watching it thinking, he'll score here because this is what Ronaldo does. Granted, definitely it was a goalkeeping error, in my opinion. Tim Krul should have saved it. And then horrendous error for uh, Ronaldo's first goal. So Norwich sort of played into Man United's hands. But I'm with Shaka. I was looking at the game and chatting to my commentary uh, I remember before the game. And we were saying about the surgery that needs to be done at Man United. Mm. There's players leaving on free transfers. Now, Manja Matic is coming out and said, well, he's leaving at the end of the season. So, have Man United got a £300 million war chest? Because that's what it's going to take. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, Sebi, but I think Man United finished the season last season. I think it was something like 12 points behind Man City. Well, before they kicked the ball today, they were 23 points off Man City. So, the surgery that needs to, be, needs to happen before they get anywhere close to Chelsea, Liverpool and Man City, in terms of the money... Then trying to find a team spirit for these guys to gel, it's almost like if Ten Hag's really looking at it, he might think, this is not for me. It's too mm. much surgery. Shaka said they're six to seven windows. 
That's an awful long time. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.